Welcome to an introduction to the Irish language by Welcome to an introduction to the Irish language by Celtic Life and Heritage Foundation. I am Kiran O'Mani. Today I will be your guide. The Ismari Eve. In today's class, we're going to continue with some common phrases that you will use about you and me as we meet and talk and do things. So the first one I'm going to talk about is, what is your name? So what is your name? The word for name is Anim. I'm going to put it right here. A-I-N-M. And you're going to say to me, wait a while, you said Anim. There's a sound between the N and the M. Yes, there is an epithetic vowel. Even That means it's a vowel that you say, but you don't write. Anim. It's like an I or maybe a U or an E or something. Anim. So it's two syllables, even though it looks like one. And then, what is your name? Um, we're going to say, what is the name for you? That's the way it's going to come out. So we start off with the word cod, which is the what part. And then the verb, the be, which is is, cod is anim. And then, for you, remember the T indicates you. Cod is anim dut. If I said to you, cod is anim dumb, it would be me, the M meaning me, but the T meaning you. Cut us on bit. And the answer, of course, is I'm going to say uh, something is my name. So let's pretend my name is, well, my name is Kiran. So I'll just use my name. But you can use your name, Kiran. And again, the verb to be is, and the word for name, Adam. And then, of me, the may. The may is dropped, of course, you just use the M. The T for you, the M for me. Kiranis anam dum. Karasanam dit, Kiranis anam dum. If it was Mora, Karasanam dit, Mora is anam dum. So you can just change the name here and put in whoever it is. So that's pretty straightforward. The epithetic sound here to make it a two syllable word. And then, of course, the M and the T give you an indication of who's involved, you and me. How are you? Again, it's a question. So, the first part is the question itself. Connus and the verb to be, ta, and of course, you. That's the two. The, ver the question, the verb, and you. Connus ta tu, how are you? Connus ta tu. And of course the answer is, again coming from a ta, ta is the verb, and this, this time it's me, this is asking you, but I'm going to answer with me, ta me, and I'm going to say good for a start, but we can change that, that. ta me, we know ma is good, I am gama, gama is a phrase that says good, I am good. Um, so the question is, come as a ta to, and the answer is ta me gama. If I said I'm not good, if I'm feeling a little bit unwell or ill, I can say Neil, which is the opposite of ta. Neil me gama. Ta me gama, Neil me gama. If I'm sick, ta me brote. If I am feeling so so, I'm feeling so so, I'm going to put this one down here. Um, ta me. I father O S A C H. Tamai Kwisak. I'm kind of so so. Tamai Kwisak. Not here nor there. Not good or I'm not bad. I'm just in the middle. Tamai Kwisak. So, Konstantu? Are you good? Tamai Gama. I am good. So, when you meet somebody in Ireland and we, you start to talk with them, they're going to know very quickly that you are very anxious to learn more of their language and then be happy about that. So we're going to start off with some phrases that they might ask you or that you could ask them. And so um, if they said, oh, I'm so pleased to meet with you, and you say, yeah, me too, and then instead of saying it in English, you can say, oh, I am pleased to meet with you. And so again, if, it's a very interesting construction, but you're going to start off with the verb always, uh, ta. And then you're going to say ta ahas, which means I am happy. There's 
something, this is the uh, happiness is, happiness is ahas oram, and again that's the M for me, on me, uh, so the verb to be, um, happy, um, that's on me, and this is I am, to ahas oram, uh, bula lad, so the bula lad is just meeting you, bula lad. Again, this T tells me that it's you, it's pointing to you. Um, the M is me, and this is you, because it's always about the two of us. There is happiness on me to meet with you. So, lat, really, if I, if I was going to do lat, it's L plus two. With you becomes lat. Ta ahas lat. So the happiness is on me to meet you. That's how the construction is. But you can you can practice that by saying ta ahas aram bula lat. Bula, b u a l a d h. The h on the d makes it silent. There, it makes no sense, of course, unless you do it a few times. But b u a l a D H and the A the D H goes away, so it's B U A L A. Ta ahas aram bulat. I'm happy to meet with you. Um, and then of course when you get into it, you're gonna say to them, Hey, that's a little bit complex. I don't speak much Irish. So that's a good phrase that you might want to take with you. And of course you're gonna start off with knee because it's negative. Knee ni feather lung. I don't have the capability. Again, it's a f funny construction. You feather lung, and then more on, which means much. And uh, Gaelga is the word for Irish. You feather lung, more on Gaelga, a lord, which is to speak. So Irish to speak, I'm not able much. Um, and again, the M here. If I remember what we did here, L plus 2, well this is L plus me. Lum. Ni feather lum, ni feather le me. It's the same thing. But again, it's a, it's a spoken language and the grammar gets usurped into the spoken word. So ni feather lum, more on girl again, a lot. And it means, oh it means, it's to me, I don't speak much Irish. If you want to say, uh, oh, I understand. That's one word. Tegem, I understand. And you know because of the M it means me. Tegem, the U is not pronounced. It tells you to make the T broad. Tegem, it's not a Tegem, it's Tegem. And the M is slender, the G is slender. Is that is, I understand. And then, if they say something fast, like, oh, you feather them more on Belga now, you say, what? And then you say, oh, I don't understand. So the opposite of thinking would be knee. And again, it's the same word, knee, but because it's negative, you have to add the H. And it goes from thigum to knee higum, because the H on the T makes the T become an H. I know that sounds awful, but... Think about it as a, dot, as, a, as a dot over the T, making the T become an H. Ni higam, I do not understand. So, to recap a few of these. Ta ahas aram bulalat, I'm very happy to meet you. Ni feather lam moran gilgalaut, I can't speak very much Irish. Tigam, I understand. Ni higam, I do not understand.